hello, hello again, and welcome to my reaction to version 4.1 special program part two. We found, we watched the trailer, we found out the banners, those were the highlights for me. We watched how the new characters fight. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to keep me interested for the rest of <laughs> the rest of the stream, because <laughs> that was mainly what I wanted to know. Um, the rest of the stuff I'm usually, why do I keep getting bubbles? Like here, as if I have a gap between my teeth. Um... Usually I, the, the story stuff, I, I, I'm like, you know, I'll find out when the time comes. I'll find out. I don't need to be hyped. I'm already hyped. So, but we'll see. Uh, in the live chat, we have Dark Shadows, Rodriguez, Hunter, Modru Cherry is going to come back soon. About 20 minutes. Mina is here, Sotos. Hey, Sotos is here. He wasn't here at the start of the previous one. Odinoko. Mike is eating Hunter, so uh, Sir Rodriguez, let's go. Anniversary party checklist. Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact. Erica Harlinger, voice of Enki here, wishing you a happy anniversary. Oh, Venti has a girl VA in. It does it does. Who's the VA for Venti in? In Japanese. Sotos was being a fake weeb and showing up late. Because mm. he was working. <laughs> Ooh! If you're a younger traveler, I want to try. <clears throat> Sorry, Sotos. At least you got some exercise. So first, let's prepare our spices. Start by zesting your orange. Next, pour your favorite non-alcoholic apple cider into a medium saucepan. What is apple cider? Apple cider, unsweetened apple juice works just as well. Oh, unsweetened apple juice? I'm choosing that. Apple cider just sounds to me like vinegar, so I'm gonna make sure I get unsweetened apple juice. Crab cider, unsweetened apple juice works just as well. Then toss in your spices along with the orange juice and set your stove to medium high. Once it starts to bubble, reduce to medium low and let it simmer for 15 minutes. When you can smell the aroma of warm spices, take it off the heat and remove your spices with a fine mesh strainer and leave it to sit for another 10 minutes. Or until just warm enough to handle. Then pour into your favorite heat safe cup. On its own, this is a drink worth singing praises. But we're going to add a scoop of vanilla ice cream, a dollop of whipped cream, and fresh grated Vanilla ice cream with a hot drink. A scoop of whipped cream. Grated cinnamon, lifting it to new heights. Where am I gonna find fresh grated cinnamon? I'm just making the juice part. I don't think I don't want ice cream in it. Makes it too sweet for me. I could maybe that the cream. I could get a that cream, and just normal cinnamon. That looks so yummy. Apple cider vinegar tastes like butt. <laughs> I've never had it, so I wouldn't know. But maybe that's why they need the ice cream, right? <laughs> Ooh, chai spice. I don't know what this pendant. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. I know they're different things. I just said apple cider makes you think of apple cider vinegar. And I don't like vinegar, so it puts me off the name. I didn't think they were the same thing. I don't think anyone could make a drink out of vinegar look good. Even with five scoops of ice cream. That looks so good. I want to. All you need is some brie, store bought puff pastry, and your favorite filling. We'll be using bacon, walnuts, and apricot. Mm -hmm. I just want bread and cheese. After preheating your oven, and the bacon. And the honey. Now I want maple syrup toast, that French toast. Chop the nuts and dried apricots into fine pieces. Then mix them in a bowl with your crisp bacon. And use this for urge to eat this stuff by itself. 
Next, place your puff pastry onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Cut the brie in half horizontally and place one half of your brie on top with the cut half facing up. Top the cut brie mm -hmm. with your fruity, nutty bacon mix and top with the other half of brie. Kind of like a sandwich. If you have any extra, just lay it in That's a lot of cheese. Use your beaten egg to coat the pastry. I want to do a cooking stream. Over the top of your brie like I would I I think we'd have fun. Completely cover the brie with no gaps in the pastry. But I don't have that kind of kitchen. Removing the excess pastry dough. Finally, coat the pastry's exterior in your egg wash and bake until it's golden brown and flaky. Cheesy, savory, and a little bit sweet. Brie en croûte is perfect. Brie en, brie, brie en croûte. Is that you can fill it with just about anything. Try it with rosemary and fig, caramelized onion and ham. When he said brie en croûte like that, like he said it the right way, and I tried to say it, <clears throat> it made me think of uh, a character from uh, Two Broke Girls that she said macaron instead of macaroons because it's the right way, macaron or something. And then I thought about that video from the beauty queens and then France goes, France! <laughs> I can't! I was thinking the same thing, Dark Shadow. I was thinking that I should just should not pay too much attention to the chat. That's why I need like an open kitchen where I just put the video there and I go about my business and every now and then look at the chat. But right now it would be kind of like, and my kitchen doesn't even have very good lighting. So I don't see it happening anytime soon, but in the future for sure. Browns! <laughs> Are they gonna bake for us? Oh, I thought they was gonna pan out that we can see cooking things. I like that he's wearing shorts. Cool shirt. It looks like you could just jump in that environment and start exploring. Wow. They're probably standing on a big green screen, right? I like to think that they're not, but It'd be so cool if they had this giant world behind them for real. Imagine how cool that would look in real life. Squares of water in the sky. Imagine diving into that. Like, from the side. That would be cool. A flood that once washed away countless lives. <coughs> 
So this is what causes the gravity to make this little square water blobs in the air? This thing? Or is... Because like an explosion is one thing, but the squares remain there, right? Carby. This one. No, no. This one. Carby. And Faga. I couldn't help, but that's the posture because the butt is sticking out. It will help with the. With the Faga. Mmm. So Australia. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, this is the steampunk I was hoping for. I always thought when we were getting Fontaine, I was really, I was feeling steampunk. Yeah. And now we're getting it. Sorry, I think it's very cool. Oh, now I want to play Genshin. Open world, open world. I want to explore everything. Ooh, a seahorse horse, a horsey. No. I wanted to put the emphasis on horse, but then it just said horsey, and that's like Pokemon that is mm, not like this. Wow! Not only is it a seahorse, a seahorse horse, it's a unic a sea unicorn horse. Huh? I love it! Are my loyal subjects? Ben Pronsky, voice of Oz, main storyline. And Josie Montana McCoy, voice of Kyle. 
Not a subject, but happy to help anyways. Today we'll be celebrating Genji's anniversary by making chocolate ganache tarts. I'm not going to make this. It looks yummy, but I'm not gonna make it. Substitute the large pan from parchment lined muffin tins to make perfectly portioned miniature tarts. Ooh. Truly a dish fit for royalty. Wow, Mina says. Fontaine has been so much fun to explore. I almost 100% three, the three areas so far. Can't wait for more. Wow. Skipping on Bert's girl cooking part. No, but it's fine because it's not the same girl. It's an alternate version. And now who gets the first slice? <laughs> I'm not a big fan of... Like, I, I will eat sweet things sometimes, but I'm not gonna make a whole tart. Ooh, she's pretty. I love that dress. Wait, what? Her name is Helen. Her English name is Helen. Okay. I wonder what is my Chinese name. I I went to an event once <clears throat> when I was studying Mandarin, uh, and then they were had someone there that did names and stuff like this. They would write your Chinese name on. A, Shut up, Sotos. <laughs> They had someone that would write your name on like in a beautiful uh, script uh, on <laughs> a paper with a Chinese flower or something beautiful. Uh, and I had that. I forgot what I, I don't know. It's lost. Yeah. Yeah, he thought for a bit. That's Are they talking about the previous event or what's gonna happen in this event? When was this poetry gala? I don't remember it. Ballad of the Boundless Blue. Dandelion bookmark. This is from the this is the event that's coming up. Why are you spoiling me so much? <laughs> I mean them. Oh nice. all their pots oh oh it costs small
I don't really need to know about this right now. I'm gonna... Wow! That was a mistake! Oh, fuck. Whoa, we're only here now, okay. What I want to say, I don't really know, I don't really need to know so much about this kind of combat, because when the time comes, I'm gonna have forgotten anyway. So let's just make it go a little bit. Okay, this is maybe too fast. No, I can still, I can still. Mending painting prospects. Oh, this is going to be fun. I like stuff like this. <gasps> nice. I like stuff like this that encourages exploring. Even areas where I've been before, you know. I saw Ayaka moving and completely forgot you were watching the live stream and I thought, damn, Kella is moving so fast. <laughs> you know, I really want to play now. But there will be time after the movie reaction, I think. What is about Clay? Clay had to stay inside so she couldn't, she didn't add to the chaos. <laughs> This looks like it might be fun. I like that game where you you throw it and then it has to land somewhere in the three lines. You remember that one? <clears throat> I like that one. Barrel region. Mm. Oh, I like stuff like this where you put different teams together and you get the trial character, so you build your, you try to build your team around the trial. I like that, especially when it has a character that, like, I don't have. Oh, Rio Thisley level. This person has level ninety. Rio Thisley already. Oh, and level ninety Nivellet. Oh. I wonder if the people that can do this, they can just give themselves the best artifacts, right? If they want to. They just... Level 90. Uh, artifact with this, 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 that. At this, this. <laughs> I can't wait for the day when... Because I'm, I'm not going to go for Nivellet, but one day hopefully he'll be here and I can still, you know, use him a little bit in battles and team building. They do the crime of recharging resin with Primo Gems. They do? Hi, Violet Shogun. Have recently become less popular. Like what? Like what? Adventure rank ascension quest. Okay. What does that mean? During ascension quests, we've reduced the time needed to clear domains. That give us less time to clear the domain, you mean? 
We get two acts of the Archon quest, two story quests, and a few events. 4.1 is truly packed. I don't have time for everything. Okay. Daily commissions. So in version 4, we'll be introducing the adventure encounter system. Hmm. What? Adventure encounter system. In the system, travelers can obtain encounter points. What is encounter points? This makes them is this makes things easier for new players. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So then you don't have to do this dailies if you just open enough chests that day. So that's nice, if I'm understanding correctly, because then I can focus on exploring instead of doing dailies. Not that I do dailies right now. Oh, I see. Mm. So, in, so instead of doing 20 minutes of dailies every day, you rather spend 20 minutes exploring. I want to ask Hanku for my noodles. Travelers can check in to obtain up to 10 intertwined fates and other rewards. A 1,600 primos, 4 fragile resin, itty bitty octo baby! Oh, what's that? Portable aerodynamic gelatinous bubble generator. Mm, like, a, like, a, like a water gun. Can I have noodles? Uh, run it, please. 23 pools. Wow. That's nice. That's more generous than previous times, right? That's nice. Who are you going to use all those wishes for? Aww. Add them only. You're gonna use it for the Hydro Archon. Adam says 50. I'm not, it's not gonna be enough. Staff of Homa for me. Oh, good idea. Uh, Adam, what about you? You say 50 pulls isn't enough, so who, who is it not enough for? This August in Latin America. Save our lost companions even to provide dog food to stray dogs. <laughs> when am I have stray cats? I know that's not the question I should be asking, but I'm glad the dog goes. We also held the topic challenge event on Twitter. That's cool. Whoa, why not in my country? Oh, oh, Bobo. Thanks to everyone's help, we successfully donated one ton of dog food to our partners and helped feed thousands of dogs. Gracias. Mecha, 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 muchos gracias. Aww, that's so sweet. This is a video of Pet Rescue Program. That's really nice. 
Oh, look how they're eating. So cute. I love puppies. Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact. My name is Ben Balmaceda, and as the voice of Kaveh, I'm always looking for better ways to integrate artistic expression and practical functionality. I'm so happy to be celebrating the three-year anniversary of Genshin Impact. We know fans are celebrating worldwide, but what's a party without decoration? Well, inspired by the enchanting landscapes of Tibet, here's a fun and functional craft that can really add a mystical vibe to a celebration in a matter of minutes. If you have any mason jars lying around, they can easily be transformed into fantastical yet functional lanterns. All you need is some small battery-powered LED lights, art supplies... I hate small battery-powered LED lights! <laughs> Sorry, but I've always tried to make cute little sparkly lights and they never... They're just annoying. Oh wow, so cute for a crafting project with kids though. I love it. Very happy third year anniversary. Well, as the voice of Yoimiya, you know I have a problem offering colorful, bursting light displays. And it's a pleasure to make our own decorations by turning... Aww, slime balloon! All you need is a couple of colorful balloons, confetti, and <coughs> some sparkly dyes. Take your deflated balloon and fill it with either homemade or store-bought confetti. A funnel can really set a mood here. Next, use a balloon pump to inflate the balloon. Regular air allows them to bounce around the room, but if you want a floating enema slime, you'll need to be shaved. Shape the slime into a sphere by letting out a little this air. This is cute. Fly off the end. Then, go ahead and add some white eyes and any other details you'd like to give the slime personality. You can use white paint or paper for these eyes. Now, not only do you have some fun slime balloon decorations, but when they pop, they'll explode in a burst of colorful confetti condensate. Then, the like jar decorations can level up any Genshin party as you celebrate the three-year achievement. I look forward to seeing what you create. That's so cool! I like all of the stuff they did. How long is this? It's a long one, right? Not in a bad way, I'm just surprised. So much information. And content. He looks tall for a Chinese guy. Is that mean? <laughs> no, but I think it's common knowledge. Like the average height in China is not super tall. So I just think he looks pretty tall. Oh. Total word count of the narrative text produced by our creative concepts and writing team. Wow. I think it depends on the region in China. Mm -hmm. Average height. Uh, by countries. <coughs> Who has the tallest average height? So if you sort it by height, the tallest average height is the Daenerys Alps. Where the heck is that? The Daenerys is a mountain range in southern and so south central Europe. The average height, Sotos, if you go there, it would be like you are walking amongst the giants. 185 centimeters. Germany has 181, Netherlands has 181. Why is this, why is this, oh, this is self-reported and the rest is measured, okay. Finland, Croatia, Denmark, Norway, Italy has 179, Germany 178, Canada 177, Italy South 177, Czech Republic, uh, Greece 177. So even in his own where he's from. Oh, you're so short. So <laughs> mm. Let's see, where's the shortest? Uh, okay, the shortest one. 158 is Timor. Guatemala, 160. Guatemala. I like saying that. Uh, Liberia, Papua, New Guinea, Nepal, Cambodia. 
Madagascar 163, Thailand 163, Sri Lanka 163, India 165, interesting, China 167, oh, that's taller than I thought on average, yeah, but I mean, I mean, it's so big, so, I mean, the whole of China, what the hell, how many, that's so many people. I'm going to Thailand. I'm done with you guys. <laughs> Where's South Africa? Oh, here. 168. You fit right at home here. On average, everyone's about your height. What is 159? What's this, this column? So I'm taller than people on average here. Oh, average female height. Oh, it's male versus female. Okay, okay. Where did I? Where is South Africa now? Huh? Wait. Wait. Wow, in general, look, Germany, 178 for men, 166 for women. Huh, wow. Yeah, height. Oh, it's Is that thing. height? Oh, you didn't. Oh, salt. Thank you. Yeah, it's height. The tallest is uh, in the Neric Alps, 185, average male height. And the women are my height, 171. The, the Neric Alps. Uh, and how many people do they have? But it's on average. Okay, so, yeah. a mountain range in southern and south central uh -huh. Europe. Hi, Cherry. We're just seeing how I'm even. I'm, see, even for Germany, I'm taller than average. What about South Africa? What about... Uh, so let's see. South Africa... Ow, I have a pain. Uh, our average height is like 168. I think I saw. Let me just what? Go. Yeah. But it's because everyone what? here... A lot of people here is fat. So like it weighs them down. 168. Mm, wait, where did it go? Where's... Oh, here. Oh, it's 168 for men, 159 for women. What? They always talk about America being obese, but I think a lot of people here as well. So this is one five. No. If that's true, then I've just been joking all this time. I thought, but actually, no, I, I'm being for real. Okay, bye. I'm trying to think. Like, I'm keeping. I'm watching still. Yeah, you are one seven four. No lies, lies. We have to measure again. You're one seven four. I'm not. You I'm are. one seven one. There's no way I'm one seven four. We have to measure again. Go, okay. leave me. No way I'm one seven four. Yeah, they the writers are amazing. For a game. Wow. Definitely it's sold. Is that characters? Mm. Yeah, that is 
To me, it's insane the amount of writing that got the little details and the side stories, the character lore, and that's why I think there's some. Mm. Yeah, I think playable characters. Wait, what was that? Uh, 215. It is crazy. Wait, 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 starting to get too fast now. Uh, 1.25, I think, should be fine. No, here. Sorry. Ninety-nine point five three million. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of people. <laughs> Must be an insane amount of pressure, right? Whoa. Yeah. That's an important thing to think about, like our comments and stuff is also part of what motivates them. And the thing is, a lot of people, wait, a lot of people would want you to believe like, that means you can't criticize it because you're going to hurt their feelings and they're not going to. But I don't think that means you have to just be positive about everything all the time. It's, it's, it's just that you should think about how you share criticism or how you share you know, a negative thought or feeling because they're aware, they're professionals. They know that not everyone is going to like every single thing. And a true, a true professional artist and all of those things, you know, cr some constructive criticism can be a good thing. If they can learn from it, they can grow, they, you know, together. Because <clears throat> they, they're not one person doing all of this. It's a big team. So it's not like some criticism is going to hurt them. But it's about how you share. Like, if you like something, 
you have to start with that. That's obviously a great thing. But it doesn't mean you can't say like, oh, I didn't like that or this or that. I think the, the exchange of both good and bad discussions, as long as they're being held in like a, not in a toxic way, it, it, that is what elevates it. It's not just because a hundred of thousands of people are saying, I love it, I love it, I love it. No, it's because the hundreds of thousands of people are saying, oh, I love this. No, but I love this, but this, but this, but this. That's what keeps it engagement and so many other things. And that's what also inspires them, not just endless positive reviews, but uh, the, 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 I think the moments when, when a bunch of people say, I used to not like this, but now you've changed it in this way. And now it's like so amazing. That too is a very rewarding um, something that they can, you know, work towards and, hmm. okay. Lemon. Mmm. Wow. Are you guys still alive? Are you sleepy? Shanghai, Singapore, Beijing, Kuala Lumpur, Gua, Guadalajara, Tianjin, Chongqing, Changsha, Changsha, Boston, Wuhan, Osaka. Oh my god, if I could go to it in Osaka. Seoul, Los Angeles, Yokohama, Chicago, London, New York, Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf. I like that name. <laughs> I wanted to buy the ticket for the concert here in my country, but it sold out in less than two hours. Ah, it's okay, Dark Sudo. I just want to know if you're still there, even if you're half dead. <laughs> Like the t-shirts what is those posters less than 15 minutes in america But America has like a shit ton of people. Mm-hmm. 
战斗音乐展示了枫丹华丽的主唱特色。我们为枫丹音乐专辑也准备了一支华丽的宣传 MV。MV music video。What? Hmm? What's MV? It's gonna be a big bite. Huh? Instead of swirling my glass of wine, I'm just swirling my noodle juice. At least I haven't spilled anything so far. But yeah, you wouldn't know. Wow, ooh! Flamenco? Unexpected. I agree too. If you if you make this, you know this green um, onion, spring onion. Which part is the better part, the dark green or the lighter green parts? Meadow green. Hmm. I'm not sure which part of these are meadow green. Fontaine of Bellu. Hmm. Red, red Easter egg. Surprised by the flamenco. Ace reporter on the case. After this, you can skip the rest. It's the English VI is talking about the anniversary. So basically, like what we're doing here, we're talking about the anniversary, and we could listen to other people talk about the anniversary, or we could talk about the anniversary. <laughs> okay, I just wanna finish this last sip. Mm. I can't get the last sip properly because there's a bunch of nude, not noodle, uh, the green part. Mm. So what do you guys think? Let's talk about it. 
Uh, I'll check out the comments, just like the top ones. I already read this one. Voice actors and animators did spectacular, mad respect. Nuvalet Furina and Arlecchino sitting together at one table, all I need. Rio and Nivellet, two super cool guys, have officially become playable characters. Hope all travelers can pull them. If you had to choose between one or the other, which one would you guys choose? That's a good question. I'm thinking obviously more people will lean towards Nivellet because he's the bigger character. Um, and, that, and that's the main reason why I, I wonder. I believe that they chose Levi's voice for him specifically. Because he's the bigger, more important character, you know? Um, uh, then I like both but I will probably choose Rio obviously if I can hold myself back from wishing hmm. I choose Huta always everything else is irrelevant <laughs> our Latina's mother looks so good I'm impressed at how much Genshin is improving I can't wait for Colum Columbina Excited for Rhea Thesley, finally our first cryo catalyst. Me too, me too. I'm just glad we finally get to see more of Orlecino. She's probably my most anticipated character currently. At the moment I would say Nuvi, but that might change once I get to know Rio better. Newbie, yes, I want Venti too. Might skip Rio this time and try Venti first. Yeah, I tried Venti one time, but I lost 50-50, I think. Or I didn't have enough wishes, I'm not even sure. Oh, actually, that reminds me, while we're busy, um, I'm glad I split the video in two because I'm going to post the other one uh, after this, but I quickly want to log in and just check how many wishes I do have and update my, my wish history thingamabob this thing i want to update it uh this one so for now let's try and wait 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 colombina is my most anticipated out of the harbingers but i feel like it'll colombina is the one that sings right in that one video I'm excited for four print one. The story looks like it's going to be so good. I'm disappointed that there's no news on the anime. Uh, I'm I'm a little disappointed, but not surprised. Even when it was announced, I didn't think it was gonna be something that comes anytime soon. Definitely excited for 4.1. I'm gonna be busy next month, so I can only do the Archon quest and save the exploration for later. I won't be pulling for anyone. Who are you saving for? If you're not pulling, who are you saving for? And I'm Modri saving for the um, Hydro Archon. I thought since it's the anniversary, they would say something about the anime. Oh, well, may they might still. But yeah, it would. If it were gonna happen, it would probably happen in the in the this video, right? But there's already so much in the video. Maybe they're saving it for I don't know next time. <laughs> Because I have 70 wishes, which is not a lot, but I'm going to get, what, 20 more, so that's 90. <laughs> I like having about 100 so that I'm at least gar guaranteed one character and, and if I'm lucky, another. <laughs> but uh, let's let's kick it, just see. I, I'm pretty sure I'm on 50-50. Who was the last character I got? I got, oh, I got the c child by accident. So I'm on 50-50, yeah. Oh yeah, the codes. I'll add that. After, well, how long do I have? At the moment, I don't plan on wishing for Furina. Depends on this Archon quest, though. Yeah. It might, ch it might change things. I have around 250 wish and the planning to get the Archon and the weapon. Yeah, you could. Well, with that weapon banner. Ugh. Good luck. Six hours for the code lift. Hmm, I should add it. I'm just worried because it's already 10. But I'm saving up for future Harbingers. That may or may not will come soon. I want to collect as much as I can. How many wishes do you have right now?
I got shot by accident too. I was on for I check on 45 petty. <laughs> but for real, like I got I really didn't think I would get green petty four times in a row. I really did not think. You know? Cause this this thing shows you when your pity is uh green yellow orange red so obviously the darker it goes the more towards red the higher your pity is which is worse huh this is not right this can't be right this is bullshit 76 can't be I didn't get him on I did I checked oh god maybe I checked wrong this can't be it I was on low pity I was sure I didn't wish say I didn't have 70 wishes I only have 70 wishes now that must be a mistake Okay, so here's Tagalia. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, how? 60, 65, 70, how? I don't remember this. I don't remember dropping 70 wishes after Mona. I didn't have 70 wishes. That is impossible. Ah. You know wh what might have happened? You know what might have happened? Maybe I looked at this, like I went I, on wishing night. I came here, I went like, okay, what's my pity? Uh, 32, but maybe it wasn't updated. So maybe I thought I was on, on like something. Let me, let me see. We can check like this. Oh, wait, what was I checking? Oh, my video. We can check on my video. It should be there, right? Here. Where, in which video did I do my wishes? Where did I accidentally... It was in a Fansly video. Because I really wasn't expecting it. Which one? It was maybe number 11. Oh, crap. But I don't have number 11 anymore. Wait, let me check in my trash. Uh, bikini gaming, 9, 12. I don't have 11. Last week's Fansly video. Was it 12 then? I, I don't think it was last week. I think it was the week before that. Mother disrupted your account on your wishes by giving you crystals. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me restore the 12 and the video 9. Because those are the only two ones I can check right now. I must have made the mistake of like, no, I thought it was up to date, that website. ABC. Give me a second here. Ugh, oopsies, I almost deleted the video I'm currently recording. That would have been a mistake. But I could have cut it out. Okay. <clears throat> uh, how do I refresh this? Let me just close it and open it again. Um, videos. Um, I, I'm, let me just check like this. I'll be... I, I will be in front of the bikini part, so it's... Oh, no, wait, I won't, because it starts big screen. <laughs> uh, bikini, bikini... Nine. Okay, here's video number nine. Okay, here, here, here. This is the wish video. Uh, uh, close your eyes, Cherry. Close your eyes. Okay, you can't see. <laughs> Okay, so this is the wish video. I'm pretty sure, right? Oh, no, it's not. Wait, is it? Is this the wish video? Ah! Ah! <laughs> so 
Right. Oh, it was last week's video. Oh, crap, I don't have that one. Wait, I do. It's number 12. Don't look. Sneak peek. Uh, okay, it was number 12 then. Oh, that was... Are you sure? I wished in that video. I hated this bikini. Fuck yeah, too tight, making my boobs almost fall out half the time. It was a terrible video. Not for you guys, but for me. It's the one of the picketing that I was trying to slip. Yeah, the whole video. Should have just changed my damn top. Okay. Uh, there we go, it's fine. <clears throat> So I reacted to the trailer, I took the VA. Okay, let's see. Where's the wishes? Here I did the trial run. Here I did the trial run. I think this is like... So did I check? Did I, it doesn't look like I checked even my pity. I just assumed. Maybe I checked the pity beforehand. Check 30 minutes for the pity check. Okay, okay. Okay, one, two, and then seven. So I had 88 wishes. This is 30 minutes, so it should be somewhere here. Where? This is this is 30 minutes. Oh, here, look at my face. Look at my face. <laughs> oh, no, I did. Oh, no. What did I do? <laughs> 32 minutes. Lost 10. What was I thinking? How many wishes did I do already? And then I checked my pity? Okay, wait, let me just... I'll, I'll, let me just show you guys like this, cause this wasn't in the, I did. I had the same face when I pulled child. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Every time I think I cannot get it early one more time, it fucking comes early. It wasn't even early! Get your hopes up. Do you get the joke? Child comes early. <laughs> Sorry. He doesn't. He comes late. What the fudge? I I pretty I'm pretty sure I said fuck like already five times and then I go and say fudge for what reason? You see, I was on 10 pity. I didn't, you didn't update your pity, stupid. Apparently, but if I was, how, how, excuse me, but how? How was the last time I checked I was on 10 pity? How? How? How, why, why, why? Sorry. Why, how, why, how? Seventy-five pity. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seventy-six. So you did thirty wishes between last time you checked pity and this wish video. Oh, the what? I don't remember it. I guess from now on I don't do wishes unless I update this, so that I'm sure. Me thinking I got early three times in a row. Pfft. Wow. I love his VA, so I guess that's a win, but I won't play much with him. Why do characters that I don't want come to me early? Same with C1 Yoimiya on 42 and 5 Pity. 5. 
So now I'm officially on 32 Petty. Officially. It's updated on the 15th of September. I have 70 wishes. I don't even know where I got that many wishes. Nope, I won't. <laughs> I was like, I'm on low pity now. I'm on 50-50 now. <laughs> Log out quickly before I make more wishes. Run! Wait, wait. Don't be complaining about getting my waifu. Let's build pity. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, but I shouldn't. I'm leaving. Quickly, quickly. I have one wish, one normal wish on Star Rail though, so let's go there quickly and and check if I'm on 50-50. I, I wouldn't mind building some pity on Star Rail. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna post my video and then we're gonna we're gonna watch Gintama because it's getting a bit late. Oh, but first I'm gonna get some juice. I have coconut water. I wanna mix it with some apple juice. Downloading resources. Not much though. <coughs> I know I have one. Yeah, I have one normal wish. And then I have 47 other ones it's so hard to resist the temptation i'll make it a habit to log out once i get the urge to wish yeah quickly just run distract yourself with something else okay one well, wish over here let me just quickly check um five oh so my pity on the main banner is like 10. Not even 10. Because I got Bailu last time. So this won't do anything. But we just use it anyway. Better not look at my 257 and 61 blue. The 61 blue is like bothers me. Why? Who are you waiting for? What's your pity on... Do I do seven individual wishes or ten? Let's just see my pity. Okay, we have <clears throat> five, ten, five, ten, twenty, five and twenty, thirty, five and thirty, thirty. So I have I have forty pity. Ah, uh, so that's pretty low. So I can drop ten wishes. And I'm on 50-50 anyway, so. My blue pity is like five. I stopped wishing when I got my last five star. Who is your last five star? Ho ho! Resolution shines as pearls of sweat. Well, that's cool because I definitely uh, want to use him. I'm building him at the moment because I need a physical damage character. And then I'm just going to do two so that we're on 35. So now I'm on 50, 51, 50, 52 pity-ish. What did you think of Dunhang scenes? You didn't, didn't you see? I The, the video is on, on uh, um, but it was amazing. Like, my mouth was falling open. And then, not in the video there, but in my in a fansly video, I did the fight with the lion electro guy. Wow. Even that, you know. <gasps> 62 pity! Uh, 
Oh, Cash is the four star. Oh, oh, ah, oh, no! I don't know him. I know him a little bit. No! Why not, bro? Yeah, bye, Lou. He may go even well. Uh, even Japar, uh, liter literally anyone except him, he's maybe better than Clara. <sighs> I'm never gonna play with you, Kong. Oh, that was you mean? Oh, this is Yan Ching. And it's not that he's not good, but I don't need him. You're making me want to do my 76 wishes now. Who are you saving for? I oh. Wow, that's a lot. I got two four stars, but I don't play with either of them, and I don't need him. Uh, he's not a bad boy. He looks like a really good boy. He's to me, he's a cross between Xing Chu and the uh, Chong Yun from from Genshin. <clears throat> oh, you're saving for Luoka. Save you save. Are you unguaranteed? Let Kella log in and do the wishes. No, I have him. He's fine. Clara's better. I, it's just that I don't want either him or Clara. Okay, I can't hold back. I'll let you know what I get. You bad influence! Let us know. Only do half. I'm bot. I web 50-50 like seven times. Just don't use more than half. But let us know who you get. Maybe you get, maybe with the, my, I took the bad luck. So maybe you get Bronya. Oh, sad. I hope you don't regret it like me, Soto. Wait, why does she, oh. <clears throat> Aura basks in beauty and bliss. Oh, wait. I'm never going to use this character unless they make her mechanic a bit easier because Vert explained her thing to me and it's a bit hard. Let's see, I'm so lucky I might get the Dragon Boy Constellations. <clears throat> I would love Constellations for him because he's so fun to play. What's this? What's this? Hey, do I, who is this? Is this him? Do I have his weapon? Oh, that's, that's cool. That's cool. The young boy took a short break from his sword practice. The sunlight was baking his already heated neck. He slowly got in the water, whose coldness touched his bare feet. When the bell chimes and birds tweet, even the people far away would know that springtime had arrived. Ah, that's kind of nice. His four star light car, not bad. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Hey, wait, if I level him up, don't I get uh, another plain wish? Hey, hey, hey. Soto, Sotos! How, what have you gotten so far? Let us know every 10 wishes. Uh, what am I doing? Oh. Back down to 24. So I got another character on 60 Petty. That's not too bad. And I have guaranteed for for uh, Topaz and Numbi. I got four Pyro Girl and two Cryo Shield Girl. March and Asta. Mm. Four uh, out of how many wishes? Don't tell me you've done like 60 and only got that how many wishes on standard you have to get the free five star uh where does it say that again here at character trial <clears throat> i don't know where does it say it yo that's what you got in 60 i don't even say yo and that made me say yo were you on zero pity additional oh Oh, no, still a lot. A lot. Baronia. I will choose Baronia when the time comes, I think. I think. Actually, I don't know. 
do I do I have to be on? Oh no, it doesn't do that. Okay, five star. Here is here. Wish me bronya, 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 bronya. I will do ten more with you. Let's go. Balding petit for topaz. What did you get? What did you get? Bronya, bronya, bronya. If we don't see Sotos again, we know he lost. <laughs> oh fuck! I keep getting you Kong. I hope I'm taking all your bad luck, Sotos. I wanted more March. Can okay, now I have no memories of them? I'm not gonna play with her. I DM you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, eight times! He won 50 50 eight times! I took all your bad luck. It's because I got five Yukongs. You're welcome, Sotos. Damn. Cherry's like, fluff off. <laughs> Let's see what his, what his, uh, his mashugana, mashugana, what is mashugana, what does that mean? Uh, I want to know his, so you got C1, increases the stackable righteous heart count by four and gains one extra stack of righteous hearts for each hit during an attack. That sounds like it's going to do a lot of damage. Wow. Damn, this game loves you. Like a, a ridiculous amount. Obtain 20 characters. Hey, that achievement happened when I when I did the wishes. Not after I got the character. Like I got the character when I put 10 wish, you know? His C1 is a big damage buff. Fuck you, you already have fucking C something Kafka. Now you have a C, how? I always need more of that. Oh yeah, I need more of that. I have 78, wait, no. 78, 124, 123. So I guess, uh, who uses winter soldiers? I don't know. Okay, <clears throat> let me just end my sad video here. So who gonna make a wish for Fu Xuan? Oh, I think there are lots of people, but not me because I'm saving for Topaz. Well, I'm trying, I'm trying. So 70 wishes and now I have the Pyro Girl C6 the shield girl c5 and the dragon dude c1 that's not bad that is not bad but that's all the wishes you had right so now you have to start saving from the beginning for luoka but he's i think he's a while away so you have time to save his rerun i mean okay well i have to end it because it's starting to get really late i would have been happier with bronya i'm not gonna lie well I would have been happy with anyone except who I got and Carla. So I think my bad luck trumps your bad luck. Excuse me. <laughs> um, I'm kidding. I'm sure he's nice. I just don't particularly need him, but an ice DPS type of, is that what he is? I don't know. It's okay. I'll, I'll make use of him, I'm sure. Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching this long video. And uh, this is a great reaction video, a lot of fun. Thank you. I'll see you next time for more Genshin content. There's going to be a lot of Genshin content soon. So let's hope I have time for it all. But I think... Let me just check something. Modru is sponsoring a Genshin stream on the 29th, so there's guaranteed. And last time I was able to, to 
squeeze in an extra one on a Monday, I think. So I, I hope I can do that again. C4 Kafka and C1 Dragon Dude. I think I'm fixed with my DPS characters. Now I need better support. Mm. We have C. If you have Mar March is a good girl. Is there a possibility to ban Sotos for a while? <laughs> ban yourself, Sotos. Making the rest of us feel bad about ourselves. How dare you? Anyway. Good luck, everyone, with your wishing in 4.1 uh, uh, and in Star Rail if you happen to play. I'll see you next time. Bye.